Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. Today, I am here with not one, but out two. I'm just, all right. <laughs> two Owl Crate unboxings. Oh, there you go. And one book box club. Wow, one of those Owl Crates is so heavy. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and start opening stuff because we have three boxes to unpack. Both book box club and Owl Crate sent me their boxes to open on my channel with an honest review. Hope you all enjoy the unboxings. Hope I will enjoy the unboxings. It's always fun to see what they bring. Um, I will link both of these boxes down below. I think I'm gonna start with the book box club because we have two Owl Crates so it would be weird to just like mix it in. Um, June, this is June's box. So we have Courageous and Kind um, is the theme. We have all of the details on the other side. Please don't mind my roots. You get a little um, envelope that has your name on it as well, which is always really cute from Libby and Kate. This box, I've always said, feels really, really homey and personalized. We have a hardcover book, I can tell, <laughs> at the very top, but I think I'm going to open that at the very end. Let's get into the goodies first. Um, and that is <laughs> this. This, oh my god, this really brings me to my childhood. We used to have a little, like, kiosk nearby where they would sell these, and it was, oh my god, okay, it's kind of, like, falling. A bag of rainbows to brighten your day. Bear and bee vegan rainbows. I'm gonna definitely snack on these later. Oh, I haven't had these in years. Then the next thing is this tiny planter, which is so cute. Um, I'm assuming this is for a small... Oh, it's adorable. I love it. I actually really love it. I'm assuming it's for a tiny, tiny cacti or something. Miniature flower patch. So you get... Oh my god, what? You get like a little patch here to like grow a little flower, I think. Simpler way to grow from seeds. Are there seeds? <laughs> Are there instructions? I'm assuming this is gonna be seeds. I'm assuming when you add water to that tablet, it like expands and stuff. That's really cute and I'm actually gonna do it because it's just, it's very wholesome. Then there's a little hanger. I think this is paper, but like really, really thick, leathery feeling paper. Have courage and be kind, so a little banner. I actually re really like it. It's pretty cute. I don't know if I'll hang it anywhere, but I really like the watercolor as well. Then there is a little promotional postcard. I stand on the threshold. It isn't too late to turn back to follow the path if that's what I choose. What's that for? The Short Knife is the book that this is for. What is that? It's like a sticker, but... It's like the writing is upside down, inverted, so I'm not sure how, where is the sticker supposed to go? Window sticker! Ah. Oh, maybe this is for your car. I don't have a car. <laughs> but like, I think that would be cool to put on a car. Um, and then we have the book, which I actually saw <laughs> just now in the spoiler card, that it is actually the one ad advertised in the postcard. So it's called... The Short Knife. I actually really like the cover. Um, you have a signed book plate with these orange pages. Um, it's like navy blue underneath the dust jacket. And what does it say? The moment the Saxon stepped onto our land, it began. He was the first stone thrown down the mountainside that bounced and rattled the rest loose until it was caught into the landslide. Um, the world seemed to be built by men trying to out-frighten each other. Where was the place for girls like me and all that? The Roman Empire w has withdrawn from Britain, throwing it into the chaos of the Dark Ages. May has been kept uh, safe by her father and her sister half, but when Saxon warriors arrive at their farm, the family is forced to flee to the hills where British warlords lie in wait. May survive in a dangerous world where speaking her mother tongue might be deadly and where... Even the people she loves most can be trusted. I don't know, will she? Have you heard of this book? I actually haven't. Um, let me know if you have and if it was good and if I should bump it up into my TBR. This duo is the cutest thing ever and I'm very excited to 
plant bed. Okay, now I don't know which owl crate I should open first. So heavy. Um, this is Maze Box. The theme is Rebels with a Cause. You have, again, all of the info on the other side. Very exciting. Momo, please get away. <laughs> okay, getting all of the squiggly worms. What am I doing here? Ooh, first up, I'm already seeing a pin that I personally really like because you guys probably remember I like my crystals. I'm one of them. Um, and it is a crystal pin. It's so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. And the uh, monthly enamel pins that Owl Crate include actually are based on their books. So I'm really intrigued. Next we have what I'm thinking is gonna be metal book, uh, what? <laughs> metal straws, which I use every single day. It says, so long as you fight the darkness, you stand in the light. Sabah Tahir. Um, that's, that's a lot of straws. Okay, where are you guys? That's so interesting. It, it almost looks like there was like two sets put in one. You even get two cleaning bristles which is good but like that's a that is a lot of straws you are sorted for life here um really cool colors though you have your you know your silver you have your kind of like coppery color and the chrome ones uh you have straight ones or in the golden one you have straight ones and then bent was bent ones and you also have the black ones i am not complaining <laughs> And also, also, also you can give some to friends or family or something like that because I think that's fine too. Then we have Owl Crate exclusive Juniper and Ivy design. Um, what are you? A magnet. So this is a magnet but it's wooden on the other side. It says never allow yourself to believe you should be silent. Which is a nice quote, very re relevant to current times I would say. And always. Then we have pot holders, Heart of Iron inspired, and they're very, ooh, cool. They're kind of a uh, galaxy print with, um, it's like on the other side, it's galaxy print with a quote, says, may the stars keep you steady and the iron keep you safe. So pretty cool. Then we have a sticker sheet, Oh, nice. One of the quotes says, in a society that profits from yourself, doubt uh, liking yourself is a rebellion, rebellious act. So it has like all sorts of empowering quotes, which I think is super cool, especially if you would like to um, empower yourself in your bullet journal and stick that in there. Next up, we have a comic book. This was hinted to us that it's going to include a comic book and I'm so excited because you guys know I love them. Um, and I'm excited to read this one, which is called Witchy by Ariel Slamet Rice. Uh, a rich and endless fascinating world of vibrancy and magic. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I am excited. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I will like this one better than I like mooncakes. Oh, forever sad. <laughs> but um, another attempt at a magical read. Um, very excited about that. Oh, and the book is Incendiary. Um, definitely know about this one. It's by Zoreda Cordova. That's how the book looks underneath. I don't know if there's any special features. I think the cover is different a little bit. Uh, it's gonna be signed by the author and let me read the description for you. Renata was only a child when she was kidnapped uh, by the king's justice and brought to the luxurious palace of Andalusia. As a memory thief, the rarest of the most feared of the ma magical moi, Renata was used by the crown to carry out the king's wrath, a siege that resulted in the death of thousands of her own people. Now Renata is one of the Whispers, rebel spies working against the crown. The Whispers may have rescued Renata years ago, but she cannot escape their mistrust and hatred or the overpowering memories of the hundreds of souls she drained during her time in the palace. When Des, the commander of her unit and the boy she's grown to love, is taken captive by the notorious prin Principe Dorado, Renata must return to and Andalusia and complete this does this top secret mission herself. Can she keep her cover even as she burns for vengeance against the br brutal enigmatic prince? Her life and the fate of the Moria depends on it. I'm intrigued by the powers that this girl holds. Um, this is a very heavy book somehow. 
it's it's been on my radar let's say that so then we have the owl crate leaflet thing oh so these are the covers you have the owl crate and the normal one and the last thing is the, the hint for the next box that we're actually gonna open right now either way and that was uh, the tune box was um, contain an exclusive coffee. Okay, we had the coffees before, but I don't drink coffee, so that's a bit sad. But maybe Logan will drink it. I love that we have a comic. The comic, the comic, and the pin. I think are my absolute favorite items in here, and it was definitely packed and super heavy. And we come to the third box. I'm just gonna be out. Oh, there we go. Oof. June one. Let me just. <laughs> All the world's a stage. I think it's like a kind of like a circus theme, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's delve into it. We have this box. It says, Cir okay, it says something in French and I'm not gonna try to read and then offend everyone who speaks French. <laughs> I really like the box here though. It's really pretty. It is, oh, it's a tin to, how do you call those? Oh my God, it's to put your coins in. <laughs> um, I will not do that. However, if you wanted to, you could use this as a TBR jar um, and just like slip the slip through instead of the money. But I like the design actually. It's pretty cool. It has like little stars and I'm thinking this is Night Circus. Then we have the coffee, which actually like they always include so much of it. It's a definitely a good size. Um, and I love the packaging. It says mini donuts. Is that the flavor of it? Maybe I'll try it at some point. <laughs> it just sounds sounds really cool. Oh, then we have our monthly pin, which looks like this. Really cool. I like the other pin better, but this is also really, really cool. It looks like a stamp. I don't know if it's meant to look like a stamp, but it looks like a stamp. Um, I'm thinking maybe a bath one. Whipped up, wonderful, gambler's ruin, shower steamer. I keep hearing about them and I had one and then I never tried it because I'm a chicken. It smells quite nice. Coffee and orange, all right. Oh, I can't really smell either, but it smells nice. <laughs> but I might try this because I just, I never had. And it sounds like an experience. Shakespeare pencil set. So I'm assuming they're gonna say something. Oh, one is holographic. Oh, ho hollow everyone. <laughs> um, I burn, I pine, I perish. Those violet delights have violet ends. Um, to thine own self be true, all the world's a stage. Oh, that's the theme. So that's how these look like. A little notepad, that's pretty cool. It says, what if we rewrite the stars? Uh, you have a notes and to do, a habits and habit tracker. Oh, I'm currently reading. I love that you have a little habit tracker thing. This is quite fun to have on your desk. I like that. You can just write up your goals for that particular week. Ooh, I spoiled myself for the card uh, for the book just now, but I'm very happy with that spoiling because this is the regular cover and this is Owl Craze, and I actually prefer Owl Craze this time. Nice. And there's like no dust jacket. This is completely printed on the cover. I love it. It's so pretty. That is so cool. The stage is set. The spectacle awaits. But this is the end pages. Really cool. It's signed by the author, if I just find it. There you are. And I don't actually know where to find the description on it. It looks really cool, I like the, the vibe. Oh, and you got some, a couple of stickers as well, where dreams descend and I am not powerless. And that's the end. Oh no, there is an author letter as well. And the card for the next month, so, Every July box will include the next mug in our series from artist Kara Kozik. Uh, so that's gonna be a next um, Harry Potter mug. And Date with Destiny is... I believe the mug is gonna be the last Harry Potter item they include for at least a little while as far as I'm aware. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought. I think that this, bo this box was super, super packed. The book is amazing i'm really excited even though i don't know what it is but i know it's gonna be with like performance and circus and that in itself excites me i'm a big fan of um the nice circus just movies with that setting in general thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you guys enjoyed this 
let me know which book intrigues you the most and also let me know which item you like the most um always like to hear that stay awesome stay kind and i will see you in the next one bye